Massive work, cargo work. Um, I'm going to work on the cars kit today um, because I think it's a technique that a lot of people want to implement. But there's a lot of incorrect ways to do it. You know, seeing Chris Wise is a perfect example of it. I'm just coming out and swinging that, that calf, kicking oh, a bad angle, this, snapping his leg, you have to get correct yeah. angle, foot placement, all that stuff. So, we're going to start off with a bit of basic work. So, I'm going to start off with a high jab, and then I'm going to jab more to the body. I don't just want to split the arm and jab, I want to see us committing and snapping the head back. Rotating the arm, getting those knuckles to connect with the centre of that pad. You should hear that nice flat, but that's like back on the pads. Jab high, jab low. As I jab low, I want us to lunge a little bit and keep the shoulder nice and high. As we go high, low, I want us to step back, as we're going to take a step forward and I'm going to hit my one two. And step back. With that one two, make sure the arms are fully extended. If I'm hitting my one two like this, I may as well be hooking because there's, no, there's not enough extension in the arm here. So we jab high, jab low, and step back, hit my one two. From here, Cass is going to shell up, I'm going to hit my switch jab. Uh, so with the switch jab, the foot will turn upon, I'm going to be walking around so I'm healthy, that's struggling. I want us to make sure the right foot stepping onto the outside, so a lot of times when I'm watching switch jabs, guys are going here with the feet in line, same as a switch kick, I want to be off at that angle, so then I'm safe from his straight shots, I've got grabbing for the kick, so I'm going to do the switch kick. But here we're going to switch into the calf kick. Jab high, jab low, step back. One two is going to shell, hit my switch jab. Now you can see I've got this slight bit this better angle on the calf here. Keep this arm posted if you want, shoulder nice and high. I'm going to switch my feet so then I'm back into my uh, original stance. Now look at this angle I've got. If you're drilling kicks on the back, especially as I up against the wall, you can work with these, these kicks from this angle with some real good power. We can go to the calf from here and really chop in. That's why we've got the shoes on. Don't last it. It's a real hurt the um, it's, a, it's a straight, straight onto the muscle, so it'll really hurt. I'm all like jab high, jab low, step back. Keep you want two, let them share. Switch jab. See how far out I've gone here to get my angle. I come back through, so I'm switching the three. And we're going to finish with the calf kick. See the rotation on the front foot as well? I switch jab, my foot's on the outside, I set my feet. I'm not just going to flick the calf here, I'm taking that cheat step that's running like, so I'm rotating on the foot and chopping down. If you want a kind of Muay Thai technique and really swinging, that's fine. As you're getting used to it though, I'd probably just bring the knee up and snap it in, especially with the back One more time. Yeah. Jab high, jab low, step back, one, two, we shells, step to the outside, switch your angle, and keep the legs out a little bit. Alright, come on. walking around guys, one, two, three.